it's Christine. Today is day 16 of Christy's Beautiful Life. And today's sketch is this little guy here. Looks like it's Janet Fritz. Um, if I'm, <laughs> I about, I want to say I almost kicked myself because yesterday I made the comment I've been hanging on to that, that simple vintage, um, uh, paper with the heart on it, waiting for a heart to show up on a sketch and y'all, I didn't take time to look ahead. <laughs> it's okay. Cause I'm happy with the letter I had yesterday, but I'm like, here's a darn sketch with a heart on it, but that's okay. Um, anyway, so as I just said, I got this, uh, the, it has a diagonal print with a heart on it couple of photos cut apart maybe and, and journaling whatever and um it has like a little mixed media looking thing here with the title and the mixed media thing here with a couple of embellishments okay here's what i'm gonna do um or here's my plan at this point so i have these older pictures this is my daughter with her granddaddy or nana and granddaddy they've both passed um she is less than a year old here so this would have been 90 i'm thinking that's 98 because i don't think she's even she, that right, my right, that might be Christmas time because that's about the time we go. Yeah, there's some Christmas candy, so that's gonna be Christmas time. So that'd been December of '98. And what I'm thinking is, I'm gonna use these are a little bit busy, but I think it's okay. I'm gonna use this as my, you know, this um, diagonal stripe. This is what I'm gonna use there, and then I want to use this heart paper as the heart. Now, recognizing that it's a little bit busy next to this, so I'm going to mat that on white as well. So, I'm going to end up with a heart with a little white mat, I think. And then, I'm thinking, so on the sketch, it had the little, like, scallopy thing up here and then the scallopy thing behind, underneath the pictures. <clears throat> I'm thinking I might try to use these flowers. I've had these in my stash here quite some time, Prima Marketing flowers. And I'm wondering if I can't use flowers along the top of the heart. And maybe along the bottom of the pictures. And I'll maybe raise the pictures. We're going to kind of play with that a little bit. And then on the mixed media, I actually have these stickers that were from a hip kit club from Sweater Weather. I think this was, it was either October, November 2021. But I'm thinking I can use one of these as kind of faux mixed media because this looks really pretty. And these can be tricky to use. So I want to try to use these. I do not know. There are a little cut apart. So sorry, I meant to have these out. I'm thinking, you know, there's little cut aparts here, and I like this blessed one, but I'm gonna have to see how it looks because it's not a lot of black in here, and I don't know if that's gonna look right. So we'll play with that. I'll have to see how I like that. And of course, there's just a little strip down here, which is just a pattern paper, which I could use one of my scraps here, you know, one of these. So that's my plan. So let me, I'm gonna have to cut this hard by freehand. I have no Cricut. My Cricut had died a while back, and I have yet to replace it. Um, so I'm probably gonna freehand my heart which is okay. I think I'll fold it over and then just kind of cut from there. You know, back in the, like the old timey days when you're a kiddo and you're in kindergarten, you make hearts. So I think I'm gonna do that and then I'll mat it on that. I can trace it after that with the mat. So that's gonna get done. And then I will come back and let you guys see me kind of assemble things. And okay, talk soon. Okay, everybody, quick check-in because I have run off and picked up some more supplies and I just wanna kind of share. Okay, so first thing is I did, um, did free cut this. I'm not going to lie. I almost screwed up, y'all. You know when you, like, fold it over? Like, as, like I said, as a kid, and, and you would, like, draw the line like this, and you cut it so that when you open it, you know, your center is like this. Y'all, before <laughs> I initially folded it, and I drew my line like this, and, I mean, thank God I caught myself, because I'm, like, totally was going to have the wrong. It would not have worked. Let me put it that way. <laughs> so, anyway, got my, my heart free cut, and then I did... Just kind of cut around on the white card side, but because of course I cannot cut a perfectly, you know, perfect mat, um, I did scuff the edges of the cardstock. So um, the other thing I did decide to do because it looked a little weird to me is I went ahead and inked the edges in my um, black soot. So I've inked the edges of this, and then I went ahead and inked the edges of this. Then I have my two pictures here, and I'm going to, you know, those are going to go down there per the sketch. I'm gonna raise this little guy up on foam. So he'll be, you know, like this. And then I did run off and get um, Thicker Storyteller. Cause I think I'm gonna use this Love, Love, Love. Um, I started to look at like Happy Soul. Cause I mean, she's so happy and cute, but I don't know. I'm gonna have to look though, because this comes along and it's real vertical, but on the other hand, I kind of like it. So I might be okay. Especially if I use a little bit bigger, uh, you know, fake, fake mixed media thing here. So I'm gonna play with that in just a second. 
And then I also decided what I was gonna do for the little, like it calls for this journaling card right here. I think I'm gonna stick with this. It's a little bit, I mean, I've got a lot of patterns going on y'all, a lot of patterns. So, but that's okay. Um, I see that I'm gonna do this. I may do this because this can be the journaling. Because my thought was um, I'm gonna use some kind of pretty words, some of these little words here, the ones that kind of go with the colors that, you know, like full of love and um, stuff like that to fill out the little journaling spot. And so I kind of think I need to look at these two together because I don't, I, I do like this because it does kind of calm things down. So I may do that one. I started off with this one, but that's just too busy. I think it's got to be this one. So that's my plan. Uh, so now I'm going to actually put it on stop and record or go fast or whatever. <laughs> All right, talk soon. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and mount my photos here. I'm going to do the right one on the foam. I think I mentioned that in the little intro there. Um, I'm just going to be real with y'all. When I first finished this layout this morning, um, I was not sure I really liked it that much. Isn't that sad? And it's not the sketch. It, it is 100% the combination of papers I've got going on here. I don't really mind busy. Like, I, you know, I'm actually, like I've said this before, I'm a more is more kind of girl. So busy doesn't bother me too much. But for some reason, after I did this, I thought, I'm not really sure about you. Now on camera, if I'm honest, I don't think it looks as bad. <laughs> I don't know if it's the, I don't know if it's like the lighting kind of tones down that back pattern a little bit, but in person, it, it's kind of in my face. I don't really know. And I'm kind of sad. I mean, I guess I can't love every single layout. Um, and I don't hate it. I just don't know if I love it. I don't know. You guys make sure, you know, you can comment below, but as always, please be kind because I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm not even sure how I feel. Um, okay. So I've gotten into my little fake mixed media stickers here, these clear ones. And I actually am pretty pleased with these because it kept me from making a huge mess. So honestly, if I had had to do that, I probably would have been even more disappointed. <laughs> um, but I did put that little mixed media down and then I've got this love, love, love. And then I'm going over here and I'm looking, okay, now what are the little uh, fake mixed media can I use? And I decide on that, I'm kind of got on my thumb on there and it's that darker kind of, I don't know what color blue that is. It's kind of a greeny blue, but it's dark, you know, it's not, it's not a light green blue. It's kind of an oceany blue, but deep, deep ocean maybe. And I put that above the picture because you're supposed to have, um, you know, a little cluster up there. And I go ahead and use, uh, I, I do like these storyteller hearts <clears throat> and I do use those. Um, and that might be my other issue. I think toward the end there, I was, I was so, I don't want to use overwhelm because that's kind of a silly word to use for just pattern paper, but I felt like my papers threw me off and so my embellishments ended up being a little bit less, I don't know. I, You know, again, at the end, you'll see it. I'm, I'm, I'm just not sure about it. Again, at the end of the day, I'm just not 100% sure. But I did put that little heart down there. Um, here's where I decided I did go ahead and go that blue with the journaling card, as I mentioned. I just felt like that did calm it down. Um, it, The other pattern, while I still use it, it just being on top of that heart and everything was just going to be a little much. So I went ahead and trimmed down my journaling card of that blue polka dot there, or the polka dot is white, but blue paper with the white polka dot. And then I'm making that little strip along the bottom of that pink like hexagon. I do need to trim it down just a little bit. I had cut it and then I realized it's a little too long. Now at this point, I've got the papers actually underneath the picture, but on the sketch, it kind of shows it on top of the picture. And so I go ahead and I'm going to play with this for just a second, kind of fast around, but I do actually end up putting that on top. Um, so I'm going to fast around that for just a second. And then I think I'd go ahead and attach the pink. Yeah, I'd go ahead and attach the pink. And then I think, no, I do want to put you on foam. So I'll come in here now, put some foam. And it's so that I can level it up to the right-hand photo there because it's also on foam. And then I'm going to uh, basically come on top of the picture there with that. And that looks good. Um, I think in the sketch, it almost looked like they might have matted it. And I didn't do that, of course. I just inked the edges. So you, must, you saw me a second ago ink the edges of those things with that black soot. And uh, I'm just kind of filling out my foams here. And I, this, this, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not really 100% sure how I feel about it, uh, which makes me sad because I thought the sketch was great. There's nothing wrong with the sketch at all. It's totally my pattern papers here. And I, but I, you know what? I'm not even gonna worry about it anymore. I'm just gonna stop worrying about it because I do like patterns and, you know, I'm just gonna go, for, I'm just not gonna worry about it. It looks great, right? Um, here is where I'm looking for, again for the little mixed media because on the sketch, again, there was a little mixed media down there. 
and um, I found me the right sticker. I do like those little stickers. That turned out kind of cool. I mean, you can't really see the very edges. It still looks like mixed media when you're not like right up on it. Um, but here's where I'm gonna go through the Storyteller, the thickers here, because there's all these little hearts. I kind of like the texture of these things. They're kind of this rubbery, flexible stuff. I don't know how to explain it. It's like rubber letters. I don't know how to explain it, but I go through and I find kind of some little hearts and stuff. I really don't, you know, in some ways, I guess I did, I, I didn't over embellish this because the patterns were so busy. So I really only just do a handful of these little hearts, one in each of the little clusters. And then in a minute, you'll see me take those flowers that are laying there. And maybe that's the other reason uh, on this layout here. I don't, I haven't used flowers in a really long time, at least not like this, not these dimensional flowers. Um, I think they were on trend, let's say eight, 10 years ago on layouts. Now you, today I see a lot of times on, you know, when people make boxes or they make cards, you know, something a little more like less, like going in an album, I guess. Um, Cause going in an album, it will cause some bulk. And I already, y'all, I make so many layouts that I go through, I have to make, I don't even know where I'm gonna keep all these albums. It's kind of ridiculous. So I'm kind of <laughs> worried about that. So I don't usually add tons of bulk. Maybe foam tape is about as bulky as I get or foam, but these are gonna add a little bit of bulk. So, but at the end of the day, I kind of like them. Um, and you'll see it in a second when I start gluing them down. I do use uh, glossy accents when I do that. Now, right now what I'm doing is I'm looking on this little sticker sheet with some words and it's just like, you know, love and documenting and laugh and forever and things like, just because it's just their, you know, it's the love between my daughter and her grandparents. I mean, she just adored them, um, especially her granddaddy. I mean, she just adored him. They had a special relationship, and I know she misses him every day. Um, it was really sad. We lost her, lost him right around her graduation, her high school graduation, and and even to this day, we, we still talk about him uh, pretty regularly, so... Uh, I'm going ahead and now on the sketch, it had a little scallop on the top of the heart there. And so I'm using these flowers and I'm just kind of mixing the colors up a little bit, trying to figure out which colors I want to use. And I use four down there and then I got those other three out. Um, on the sketch, technically the scallop goes along the whole bottom of the pictures and all the way even over toward the journaling card. I don't go that far. Uh, if I'm honest, it's probably because I just only had pulled out them three flowers. <laughs> I didn't feel like gluing anymore. But at the same time, I think it looks kind of cute. And that is honestly pretty much all I do here. I thought about sprinkling some mixed media and I thought, well, I do put the year, but I, I thought I've got kind of so much pattern and stuff going on. I'm, I'm kind of scared of it as it is. So I'm going to slow this down just a hair for you to see. No, I didn't. I didn't slow it down at all. Well, I'll do this. I'll, you can see the close-ups in a second. Uh, anyway, that's day 16. Thank you so much for watching. We got 17 coming tomorrow and I'm keeping up barely. So thanks so much for watching. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.